out to the True Rock and Roll Podcast. As usual, we're here with Sue Ann Carwell and King Edward. And today we have a really special one. We haven't really done anything on Leon Russell before, but King has some really interesting stories to tell about Leon Russell and the Gap Band together. So this is a rare one. I hope you guys like it. It's Ain't That Peculiar, which was originally a Marvin Gaye song, but we're going to hear Leon Russell do it with the Gap Band. Let's get started. song i know you remember that group fanny uh king yes you know the all girl band yes they did ain't that peculiar too and i like the way they did it as well that's right that's right, that's yeah. right. like i was telling you a while ago that in 69 that's when everybody came to la it was just unreal mm -hmm. and uh, uh god fanny and them was they was amazing all girl group they was the first bad rock and roll girl band Philippines. They were really good too, but let's talk a little bit about A and M Records because that was a real sort of nurturing place that you know Leon really, really helped bring into that whole uh, rock and roll scene. Yes, yes, yes. That's why, and it's it's terrible how he don't get respect for things that he he done. He was a, a trailblazer and, and and also a transsetter. As far as uh, rock and roll was concerned, as well, just like yeah. Little Richard, just like Little Richard. But uh, once again, when Leon was 15 years old, he told his mother and and father that he was going on the road with uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, mm -hmm. and they were so upset because he got out of school and, and they just disowned him because mm -hmm. of that. Leon was unbelievable. He was a, a he could play when he was so cold blooded, 15 years old. And he he, he went with Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Lewis wanted him so bad. You know, Jerry Lee Lewis could play too, though, you know. But Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis was just amazed about Leon Russell. Yeah. Leon used to tell us stories and stuff about about his. Oh, it was just. I have so many stories about Leon. He's just unbelievable. I wish we had all the time in the world to talk about Leon. Because he was really, and you know, I don't know if he's in the Hall of, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet, but he should be. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll, we'll tell a story about Leon Russell and the Gap Band when we finish. So let's finish watching. <laughs> Thank you. 
This was uh, Patrick Henderson on the other uh -huh. piano that just wow. passed away. Okay, the and guy on the piano. What did you say? Just passed away. Uh huh. And he wrote "Real Love" by the Doobie Brothers. Oh, really? Yes. So I just want the people to see this, and and we are honoring Patrick Henderson and Leon. Leon passed away as well. <laughs> it was so right. such a sad day for me. Uh, mm -hmm the first of this month but uh that's how it goes and the girl I, you know i was a choreographer for the girls but liam <clears throat> the way he structured <clears throat> playing it was so hard for me to show them routines because it was just i then i say hey just do what you got to do <laughs> because it, it, so it, wait a minute you said you were the choreographer for the girls yes yes okay got you <clears throat> yeah and, so tell us about me about how uh, uh, you brought Charlie Wilson. Charlie, God, uh, once again, we're talking about Tulsa, Oklahoma. We went to Tulsa, Oklahoma in '68 after the Charlottes. This club in, in in Tulsa called the Red Velvet, and mm -hmm. this is where everybody comes and and perform, and this is where we we perform there and everything. We stayed in this mansion by six bedrooms for the entertainers and everything. But uh, Charlie them, you know, Charlie was in church. His his father is a minister. Right. But, you know, so he was always leave and go and play when his father didn't know anything about it. You know, he would, he would leave the house, him running, his brother running. <laughs> so when we, we get to, the, get to uh, Oklahoma in 73, Okay, we run to Charlie. So we said, man, he said, man, we, we were Liam, man, we, and we heard Ch Charlie play and, and run and play. We said, man, y'all sound good, man. We, how would you like to meet Leon? Man, yeah, man, yeah. We, But they really didn't know anything about Leon. They was a gospel group. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, But we would go and, and be with Ch uh, with Charlie and run it. And, and, you know, we'd smoke our little weed and everything. So we, we had a good time. So we introduced him to Leon, and Leon uh -huh. fell in love with him, and 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 uh, God was on the tour with Leon. Uh huh. And it was just, and they were just so happy about that. But everything changed, you know. And we moved to. to so that uh, was in the early seventies, because the Gap Band didn't sort of take off until like the late seventies, early eighties, right? No, the late 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 seventies. Mm hmm. And yeah. so, William, you, you actually performed with him, or, or did you write a song for him? I wrote a song for him on the last Gap Band album called Shake That Booty. That's yeah. my uh -huh. song. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And, um, but it's alleged, it's alleged that if you listen to um, Ain't That Peculiar, well, if you listen to the song Signs of the Time by Prince, yeah, yeah. Peculiar. Okay. Because when you hear it, da 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 da
da da da da da da da da da da da da Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he got that from Ain't That Peculiar, Signs of the Time. Right, right. That was a big thing with Pharrell, too, with, with uh, Marvin Gaye's estate. I uh, yeah. Happy was actually a song that um, Marvin Gaye had. Well, that it was, that was a clear, clear rip. Sorry. Uh huh. Right. Plain. It steel. was clear, clear borrowing, wasn't it? <laughs> it's like, hey, Lisa family made some money. Yes, they did, and I'm glad to hear that. You know. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining us today, and thanks King Edward for all your good stories about Leon Russell and the Gap Band. Thank you to Sue Ann for always being here and being beautiful. So everybody, give us thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with other people you love. And we'll see you the next time. Bye. Once Peace. again, cold-blooded, baby. It was cold-blooded. Yes, it is, King Edward. It's cold-blooded. <laughs>